Oh, Youth Online, hello. hello. Good to see you tonight. Virginia. Hello, Micah. How are you? I'm so good. I'm so excited for tonight. We have so many cool things happening. Yes. We have an Uber Eats voucher. Uber Eats, hello. That anyone that is watching right now could potentially get. That is true, that is true. So if you're in the chat right now and you have a good reason to get that Uber Eats voucher, just put it in the chat. Yes, we want to give it to the student of the week. That's right, you could be the student, student of the, of the week. week. You, you could be it. You know, maybe you woke up this morning, you looked in the mirror and you're like, you know what? Tonight I feel like is my night. I feel like tonight is my night to be student of the week. It could be you. It, it could, could be, be you. you. This could be your moment. It could be your moment. You've been <laughs> waiting for your whole life. I'm telling you. Oh, Michael, what else is happening <laughs> <I'm> tonight? <laughs> I'm excited because tonight we're in for a good night. We have one of my good friends, Jesse Murray, preaching, bringing the word all the what way from Melbourne. Guy. And uh, tell me, what, what's your favorite thing about Jesse? Um, my favorite thing about Jesse is actually his wife. Yes. I love his wife. Yes, tell us. <laughs> we're really good friends. Yes, Chanel. And um, <laughs> I also love that he loves donuts. That's, that's about all I know. That's true. Really. Uh, that's true. And he's good at basketball. He's very good at basketball. Yes. Um, but I reckon we are going to have an incredible night. So go ahead and maybe get your notepads, get ready, get ready for tonight. Grab a snack. Maybe chat to your RDG leader and tell them how excited that you are for tonight. Maybe throw in the chat how excited you are. It's going to be a good night. But what we're going to do is we're actually going to go ahead and get ready for some praise. So what we need you to do is stand to your feet wherever you are. We're going to praise tonight. Maybe do some jumping jacks, do some push-ups, do whatever you need to do to get ready because it's going to be a good night. But go ahead. We're going to go ahead and throw over it into some praise for a moment. Here we go. Search me out and I'm caught up in your grace I heard my name across the ocean You pulled me closer, the current changed You showed me life, a new horizon A silver lighter, a brand new day
Amazing. Ooh, ooh, ooh. <laughs> wow. That's, that's pretty good. <laughs> Am I Melody? Maybe? You, you could, could be. be. You could be. Laura, I'm ready to be on Young and Free. I heard yeah. that's something you've been wanting to do for a long Actually, time now. I've written a few songs okay. during lockdown. Which ones? For the next album. Okay. So. Can you give us maybe like a teaser? Yes, I know. Okay. <laughs> no, we should do though. Right, what should we do, Virginia? <laughs> okay. We should. We should. Go over okay. to Melbourne yes. and see Justin Lindsay. I want to talk to Justin Lindsay. I want to see your beautiful face. Justin, are you there? Are you there, Justin? Hello. Can you see me? Yes. yes. Hello. Good to see you. Oh, Justin, I miss you guys. It's so good to see your face. Um, good to did see you that. send me chocolates? Listen, if someone sent you chocolates, Virginia, absolutely. It did you? Okay, I think I'll, it was him. Did you send me chocolates? Yeah. This guy Mate, of course is... I'm, I see, I'm still I waiting for mine. Chocolates. I'm still yeah, waiting for mine. I haven't gotten mine yet. That's how we do it yet. down here in Melbourne. <laughs> just generosity. <laughs> okay, so Justin, I need to know what's happening after Youth Online is finished because I personally am not a gamer. Maybe one day I will be. Who knows? But I need to know all the details of how to actually get involved after That's tonight. all right. Okay, this is super, this is actually super <laughs> exciting, right? So for, for the after party tonight, Hillsong Youth now has a Discord. And I don't know if the link, it will come up, it'll probably be below me or somewhere around here. If not, it is discord.gg forward slash Hillsong Youth. And go ahead, jump in the Discord. It's going to be so much fun. We've got Fortnite chats, Minecraft chats, Call of Duty chats. It, pretty much any game that you play, we, we've got a chat for you. So jump in with us after youth. It's going to be awesome. So good, Justin. Thank you for letting us Thank know you, Justin. all of those details. I'm sure it'll be in the chat. Yes. But we also, Micah, have something else happening after this. We do. For anyone and everyone who enjoys a good baking session. It's true. We're doing another session with Grace. Grace, are you there? Tell I us a little you. bit about it. Hi. What's happening after the Hi. service? Um, so tonight, um, it's going to be live from Kelby Street. Uh, we're going to be baking some chocolate chip cookies. So uh, join the Zoom. Um, you can either watch or you can join in. Uh, make sure you've got all the ingredients. You need butter, flour, chocolate chip cookies, um, baking powder, all that kind of stuff, and cook with us. Wow. Wow. I That's... personally love cookies. <laughs> so <laughs> if Same. anyone is making them out there. And you know what, Virginia? Send them to me. You know what else? Yes. What's really cool yes. is we used to do something similar to this. Okay. We did like a Hillsong Youth Master Chef. Okay. We could end up finding the next Master Chef at this oh baking after. Oh my gosh, Master Chef 2022. Yes. It's gonna be found tonight with you, Grace. Yes, I hope Grace. you're ready for that. It could happen. Sure. It could happen. Maybe it'll be Grace. It could be Grace. I don't know. It could be. I don't think it will be me. <laughs> <laughs> I think it will, Grace. I think it will. I believe in you. But you know what? I want to see what's happening in the chats. So, is there anyone out there that wants a shout out in the chat? I see Paul Kellaway. I see Peter Toggs. Peter Toggs. Where are you at? Maybe shout out what campus you're from. It's good what to tribe see you guys. You're in. I want to see some orange hearts. I want to see some yellow hearts. I want to see some green hearts. Yes. Maybe some blue. Yes. Maybe some black hearts as well. Yeah. Every single color. Every single color. Okay. Shout out to you guys. Yes, it's good. The chat is lighting up right now. We've got Lizzie Doy from the city. We've got Southwest. Michael. Good to see ya. Sophie Raff. Good to see ya. Who else do we have? Oh, wow. It's going so fast. Melbourne Celeste West. from Melb. Good to see Southwest ya. Southwest City, City, Melbourne, Wollongong, Fuel Hills, City Fuel. Ooh, Grace, good to see ya from the city. <laughs> wow. Ben, 
Man, I'm loving, I must say, I'm, I love seeing the city, you know, where it's city showing up so much yeah. in the chat right now. It's incredible. City's the best. City I mean, is pretty cool. After fuel. Pretty cool. Just, yeah, just kidding. It's pretty good. It's pretty good. <laughs> now, what are we doing next? Virginia. <laughs> we are doing something very special. <laughs> very, very special, Virginia. Yes, we are. This is probably the most important moment of tonight, so I need everyone 100%. to focus. Yes. Drums, stop. Drummers, moment of silence. Tyrone, Amelia, are you on that Zoom? Okay, we yeah. need you to tell us who <laughs> the student of the week is, and I need to know exactly <laughs> why they are student of the week. Keep because going. this is probably... Keep going. <laughs> The best moment yeah. right now. Yes. There's many more to come. We've been waiting for this tuned. moment. <laughs> okay, drummers, you can go again. Now, Tyrone Meals, please tell us who is student. the student uh, well, of the week. Well, I, just wanna, I just want to highlight that moment that that <laughs> was actually the most important part of tonight. If, if I could say anything myself. I think my face is going red because halfway, <laughs> through, halfway through, I was like, <laughs> wow, was I'm really nailing that this. That was very good. I was impressed. <laughs> I was impressed. Anyway, Sorry, we're gonna move <laughs> um, we, we just wanted to highlight some one, one, two, two amazing students of the week. Uh, they are some amazing year 11 girls from the Southwest campus, um, and they are doing some incredible things at high school. You might think during lockdown, um, what could I do during lockdown to lose my friends at um, my high school? But these girls have found a way. So we're gonna introduce you to two of my very own. Sophie Raff and Kate Gambrel. Welcome, girls. Hello. Hello. You guys there? Yes, we are. <laughs> awesome, awesome. Well, uh, congratulations. We just want to say that in the very <laughs> um, Now, from what I understand, you guys were running Shine um, at your high school. What, what high school did you guys go to? We go to Oran Park, Anglican. Woo! Oran Park. <laughs> Yeah. That school, uh, that's it. Um, and okay, what what kind of what year group do you run the Shine program with? So we run the, it with Year Seven girls. Okay, nice. You run it with the Year Seven girls. Um, yeah. And it's kind of crazy because like before lockdown, uh, you guys were running Shine um, every was it Monday? Yeah, yeah, every Monday, Monday for the Year Seven girls. But um, maybe, Sophie, why don't you explain to us what you guys have been doing with Shine online? Yeah. Um, well, just quickly, for those of you who don't know what Shine is, basically it's a um, program for Year 7 girls, well, not Year 7 girls, but young high school students. And it focuses on just, it focuses on just general um, personal development and just instilling that value on them and equipping them to just believe in themselves. And there's like three core um, foundations and it's worth strengthening them. get to work through those with them. And um, so, yeah, online's just been different, um, but we're still going ahead. Hey, do you want to add on to that? <laughs> um, so we've just been doing it via Zoom um, every Monday lunch, just connecting with the girls and just um, encouraging them and doing some little games and just like a space where the girls can connect and um, communicate and just have the I absolutely love that. That is so cool. And that just shows your amazing hearts. That's such great initiative. Can I ask, what's been like the biggest highlight so far with doing Shine online since lockdown? Um, I think for me personally, like going into Shine, we're a relatively small school. There's only like 50 kids in year seven and that's the biggest grade. Um, and so going to Shine, we didn't really know what to expect. So going to my youth leaders and they were actually sharing how they, they fast for you. And so Kate and I going into it, we're like, you know, we have a heart that we should fast and just pray together. And so every Monday we fast and just pray for it. And I think for me, the highlight has been just watching the growth. Um, we've had up to like any early 20s come in and um, just being able to encourage them and just watch numbers grow and um, just for them to have that, just seeing that um, connection that they're having to program and um, just seeing that revival in our schools. So that's my personal. 
So cool. Anything from you, Kate? Or um, yeah, mine. I would have to agree with Sophie, but also just um implementing those core values and seeing the girls um just show that and demonstrate that throughout the school the school environment yeah. is just so encouraging. Um, it's just great to just see them and just like having us having an impact on them, but also them being able to have an impact on us. It's mm. just so incredible. Yeah. So, yeah. Wow. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> That's awesome. That is actually incredible. Kate and Sophie, you guys are standouts. And uh, honestly, that is so cool that you guys are really leading the way within your school. I must say, Virginia, you're, you're on fire tonight. I must say. I cannot recovering. <laughs> but I must say, um, yes, Oran Park yes. raises some pretty incredible people. Yeah. Uh, specifically being from Oran Park, you know. Of course. You know, there's some good people out there. I must say you guys are doing an incredible job. <laughs> and uh, Oran Park is blessed to have you guys at Oran Anglican High School. But that was awesome. We actually have some Uber Eats gift cards yes. coming your way. You are yes. our students of the week, which is cool. So congratulations. You. you guys are amazing. But hey, like we said, we're in for a good night. And I'm so expectant for what's the you know what's gonna be brought tonight. We still have a couple more things planned ahead. But what we want to do right now is we actually want to take a moment right now to just spend some time in worship. Can I encourage you in this season more than ever? I pray that as a youth ministry, we're gathering together unified and worshiping and glorifying Jesus in these moments that we have together. And tonight's pretty special because live right here. On Youth Online, we have Bella. Whoa, Bella. And Josh. Bella from The Voice, Bella? Bella from The Voice, oh yes. Oh my God. Yes, not just any Bella. What? Not just any Bella. I'm Every single person Bella. needs to be standing to their feet right now because we're going to have a worship <laughs> moment. Yes. <laughs> yes, we're going to. I love that it just went from, hey, we're going to worship tonight. Come on, why don't you stand to your feet? Do whatever you need to do to go ahead and get into the presence of God. Hey guys, I hope that you are having a good Friday. Um, we're just going to spend some time in the presence of the Lord. So I'm just going to pray for us and um, why don't you sing with me wherever you are. Um, Lord, we love you and we're so grateful for your kindness and your goodness towards us. And I pray that tonight as we sing these words, um, that we mean them and that we understand what we're saying and what we're um, bringing to you. I pray that it's an offering of worship and I pray that you give us a peace and a comfort um, and a greater understanding of who you are in this time. Um, and we pray this in Jesus' name. Amen. I can see it now I 
And every little thing's gonna be just fine And whether I can see it now I know you will work it out for good Yes, every little thing's gonna be alright by yourself or with a sibling or whatever, wherever you are. And I'm not sure where we're linking and what the restrictions are, but we actually can sing together here in this space. It's safe. Um, So we're going to sing that one more time. And why don't you sing it with me? Like open your mouth and make sound because I really believe that God honours that and He honours this space. Would you sing it with me? Even when I don't see it. Even when I don't see you're working even when I don't feel it you're working you never stop you never stop working you never stop you never stop working even when I don't see it you're working even when I don't feel it you're working you never stop you never stop working just one last time even when even when I don't see it, you're working. Even when I don't feel it, you're working. You never stop, you never stop working. You never stop, you never stop working. Even when I don't see it, you're working. Even when I don't feel it, you're working. You never stop, you never stop working. Bella, thank you so much for that. You just, you have the voice of God all over your life and it's incredible. The voice of God. The voice of God. I hear the voice of the Lord now. Just a voice, you know, the voice of an angel. That's really what it is. Thank you, Bella. You guys are amazing. Yes. 
Brother, we love you. We love you. You know, if you want, you can go ahead and tell us if you made it to the next round or not. Up to you. You know, you don't have to, but uh, <laughs> we love you. And, uh, you know, we're always supporting you. Biggest fan. Don't forget me. Don't forget just me, Bella. two winks. <laughs> it was a yes. Yeah, just give us some, give us a little like. Just a nod. Just a nod, something, you know. Uh, I, I think this means. That yeah, means. That's yes. yes. In our youth ministry. Oh my God. That means yes. So. The voice. Thank Ladies you, Bella. Thank you. Love ya. Love you. That was beautiful. So good. Well, I think we have another Zoom to Zoom into. <laughs> yes, we do. <laughs> we, have, we do. Yes, we do. Hey, we're actually going to go into our praise and prayer requests. Yes. Uh, and uh, we're going to actually throw it over to Shade and the Browers. So go ahead. We'll go ahead and throw it to you, Shade. Over to you. Hello, everyone. I hope you're doing well. And yes, that's right. We're going to take a moment right now and we're going to pray. And uh, Paul and Sarah from Maryland are going to pray. But before we do, we're going to take uh, a moment and just express some gratitude to God. You know, every every Friday before we pray, we like to um, highlight some praise reports. And because not just uh, it's something that we do, but because we believe it's really important to be grateful. And you know what? In every season, there is always something to be grateful for. And so I wonder, why don't you start writing in the chat something that you are grateful for in this season? And uh, there's actually a scripture that I want to encourage you about gratitude. And it's 1 Thessalonians 5, 16 to 18. And it says, rejoice always, pray continually and give thanks in all circumstances. For this is God's will for you. What are you grateful for today, young person? And uh, there are some amazing stories that are happening in our youth ministry. And I, I want to just highlight a few of them. We have some leaders, first of all, praising God for uni break. Can we just appreciate your RDG leader that's studying and is serving, doing an amazing job? Uh, we have a young person who is grateful for successful heart surgery. Uh, we have young people who are grateful for their grandparents in this season. And I um, also want to share a really encouraging story about a youth leader who um, has been praying for their family for salvation for a very long time. And um, during COVID, they were actually able to lead their mom um, to Jesus with the salvation prayer. And I just think that is so encouraging that no matter what is going on, that God is moving and that He is hearing our prayers. And so we're going to take time right now. We're going to pray. And so Paul and Sarah are going to pray for your needs and for what's going on in your life. So over to you guys. Amen. Thank you, Shade. I love that after we give thanks that God says that we can bring our prayers, our petitions, our worries, our concerns to Him and that He hears our prayers and He answers them. And so tonight we're praying for a few things um, and we're praying for a good report from medical examination. I mean, we're praying for healing for people. We're praying for people doing exams. For some of you guys in school right now, you have exams, even for our year 12s coming up and heading into your HSCs. Um, you know, we're praying for young people that want to make a difference in their high school. I love that we're praying for this. I want to give a special mention to Jeremiah and to Monta who started a Bible study group over Zoom for the very first time, even in lockdown. Um, you know, maybe you want to shout out right now in the chat if you're a part of a Bible study group run a Bible study group. You know, we're still seeing souls saved and schools one for Jesus. And we're also, of course, praying for Afghanistan and for Haiti. And so why don't you join us tonight and let's close our eyes and let's really pray. Amen. Well, why don't you lift up your spirit with me? I'm going to pray for the world together. But dear Heavenly Father, we exalt you tonight, dear Jesus. We know that you are greater than anything in this world, dear Father. You created this world. And we thank, we are so thankful for, that we get to live in it, dear Father. And we lift up Australia to you right now, dear Father. And we pray for its leaders, dear Jesus, that it would be a blessed nation, dear Father. And we lift up the people in Afghanistan, dear Father, in that, in that crisis, dear Jesus. We ask that you would intervene in that situation, dear Father, that you would um, do miracles and just um, use your power in, that, in those situations there. We pray for protection over people and we pray for peace in that land and in that nation, dear Father. And we also lift up the country of uh, Haiti to you, dear Father, and the crisis there, dear Jesus. We ask that you would be with people once again, that you would um, provide relief and provide peace in that situation. And we lift up this entire world to you because we know that this world is yours. In your name I pray, amen. 
Amen. And God, we also pray for people that need healing right now. God, we thank you that you are a healer, God, that your name, Jesus, is above the name of cancer. So we rebuke every single sickness and disease. Yes. We pray for your healing power to move people's bodies. And I pray for every single young person right now um, that's watching in. God, we pray that you give them strength for school, help them to persevere and to finish strong. Um, and we thank you, Lord, that they're still making a difference in their school. So would you lift their heads? people that want to give up right now, God, and just help them to continue. Um, we love you, God. We trust you. And we pray this in His name. And as a youth family, we said, amen. amen. Love you guys. Amen. 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 Wow. My my soul feels lifted. I'm sure it does, Virginia. I'm sure it does. What a moment. I love that we still get to be able to pray together as a youth ministry and, and really rally together and unify in these moments. But hey, Virginia. Yes. I'm excited. Tell me. Because. Why? We have Jesse Murray oh from gosh. Melbourne, who's about to bring the word. And look, I know you guys are looking forward to this because this is literally the best part of the night. The best. The best. You he, thought the Uber Eats voucher was cool, but <laughs> let me tell you. Tell us, Virginia. This is way cooler. <laughs> way cooler. Way cooler. Way cooler. Let me tell you, Jesse, one of the, my favorite things about Jesse is not only is he a good basketball player, he's also kind of stepped up his game. He preached on Sunday not too long ago. Yeah, he did a, like a Sunday night illustrated. So he's kind of a big he's deal. He's creative. He's creative and he's yeah. a big deal. Um, so I don't think it gets better than that. Um, he's shaking his head no at me I right now. I heard he could be potentially like speaking every Sunday. He probably is. You know, he's, he's waving by. <laughs> Love you, Jesse. Hey, come on, can in the chat, can you go ahead and give a warm welcome, a shout in the chat for our main man, Jesse Murray, as he comes to bring the word. Love you, yeah. bro. Love you. Love you. Wow, wow, I love you guys, Micah, Va. We miss you guys. We miss everyone, our whole fam in Sydney. I can see the chat. I can see Keanu shouting me out. He's a good man right there. And uh, I mean, we've got, a, we got a two people here. That's it. That's all we can allow. But those two people are making some noise. Ted Lasso, aka Justin Lindsay. Uh, he's here. He's here. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, hey, I know he's excited for the Discord chat and uh, what it's going to pop off later, but make sure, hey, that's for later, okay? We got the Word of God and then we got uh, Discord later and Fortnite. I heard Tyler Douglas is going to jump on, but I mean, who knows if he actually will. Uh, I know this week he ghosted me when I was trying to play Fortnite with him, trying to get some dubs, you know what it is, but hey. Nah, I'm sure he will. I'm sure he will. Hey, I'm excited to bring the Word tonight. Grab a Bible, grab a notepad, grab maybe the notes out on, on your iPhone because I really believe I've got a message on my heart and I really pray that it blesses you, that something out of this Word tonight that catches your attention. And uh, just before we, we start, I just want to honour our youth pastors, pastors Peter and Laura Togs. We love you guys. Chanel and I love you guys so much. We miss you guys and uh, we're right behind you. Peter Togs is preaching on Sunday. And so make sure we do whatever we can to be there. It's going to be a good night on Sunday night. But hey, let's turn to the Word of God. I want to turn to Acts 3. So grab your Bibles out. I'm going to start off by just reading a passage of Scripture. And it's when Peter, he, he comes across a guy that's lame and he heals him. It's an incredible story. It says this, One day Peter and John were going to the temple at the time of prayer. I love that. They were intentionally going to pray. It was three in the afternoon. Now a man that was lame from birth was being carried to the temple gate called Beautiful where he was put every day to beg of those going into the temple courts. When he saw Peter and John about to enter, he asked them for money. He asked them for cash. Peter looked straight at him, as did John. Then Peter said, look at us. So the man gave him his attention, expecting to get something from him, probably to expect a little bit of money. But Peter said this, and I want us to catch this tonight. This is what my message is all about. Peter said, silver and gold, I do not have. 
Silver and gold I do not have. He did the ultimate, I forgot my wallet. Have you ever gone to maybe lunch or maybe on a coffee uh, date? I don't know why I said coffee date, just going out for coffee or Maccas and the person that you're with orders and then does the old, I forgot my wallet trick. I mean, Ted Lasso, Justin Lindsay over there. No, I'm joking, I'm joking. (laughs) He doesn't do that. But Peter says, silver and gold, I do not have, but what I have. But what I have, if you're taking notes tonight, that is the title of my message. I think we need to be a young generation of people that have the type of faith and spirit and attitude that say, but what I do have. Hey, at the moment, things are locked down, things are restricted, things are a little bit uncomfortable. Hey, but what do you have? Don't just focus on what you don't have. Don't just focus on what you're missing at the moment. No, I want us to focus on the things that we do have. Because Peter, he says to him, what I do have, I give to you. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, walk. Taking him by the right hand, he helped him up. And instantly the man's feet and ankles became strong. Come on, somebody. It's a miracle. He jumped to his feet and began to walk. Then he went into the temple courts, walking and jumping and praising God. When all the people saw him walking and praising God, they recognised him. Catch this. They recognised him as the same man who used to sit begging at the temple gate called Beautiful. And they were filled with wonder and amazement at what happened to him. I love that story. I think it's so easy to gloss over the Bible sometimes and be like, oh, that's a cool story. No, no, no. But can you get a picture of this, that there was a man that was lame, that could not walk from birth. And on this day, his life was radically changed because he got healed. And I love the heart of God. See, Catch this, friend, a few little things that takeaways I pick up straight away from this Scripture is that God easily could have just given him another handout. He could have sent Peter and John just to give him another $5 note or maybe if he was lucky, a $20 note. No, no, he could have easily just given him a handout. But friend, that's not the heart of God. The heart of God was to give him a hand up was to change his life forever. And friend, I wanna encourage a young person that's joining in on Youth Online, a a leader that's joining in to Youth Online tonight. God doesn't just wanna assist you with your challenges. He just doesn't wanna make your challenges comfortable. No, He wants to see you break through some of those challenges. He wants to see you come through. He wants to see you conquer. He wants to see you be a victor. He wants to see you on the other side because that is the type of God that we serve. And so I'm going to pray tonight and I really want to encourage us. Let's not just go through the motions of tonight. Let's have fun on the chat. Let's get amongst it. But hey, let's know tonight that God wants to speak, that God wants to do something in your life and in mine. So hey, come on, let's pray. Lord, we thank You for every single person that's tuned in to Youth Online tonight. Lord, we just pray that God, You would speak tonight. God, that it wouldn't just be my words, but it would be Your word. Lord, help bring revelation where it's needed, God. Help bring change where it's needed. Lord, we just pray, Holy Spirit, come into every single room where every single screen is streaming youth online right now, God. We just pray that Your Holy Spirit would come and fill. Lord, that Your presence would be in that room. In Jesus' Name, Amen. Amen. But what I do have type of attitude. I don't know if you've ever gotten frustrated because you just couldn't, get something. Maybe you missed out on the PS5. I missed out. I don't have a PS5. I'm a little bit jealous. Or maybe, you know, you just wish you had a girlfriend or a boyfriend. Hey, I'm talking to youth leaders. Okay, settle down, settle down. Uh, Maybe, you know, for me, one of the things I get frustrated about, okay, just being real, a little bit of real talk is when I go to the shops and I can't find a car park. Real place, Real, one, one person out of the two in this auditorium is with me, okay? Refreshing. But 
I get frustrated when I can't find a car park. I mean, when you are looking for a car park in a busy shopping centre, there is nothing worse. You begin to change, okay? You, you begin to get angry. You begin to get frustrated. It's all you can focus on. You're like, man, I, I'm so frustrated. You start driving crazy. Have you noticed that? Maybe, like you start, or maybe your parents, maybe they just start driving a bit crazy because they just want to find a car park. They'll do anything to find a car park. I remember I was once in this position, I was with a mate and man, this mate, he, I won't mention his name, Nathan Glenister, but I mean, if you, Rambo and I guess mm, Bear Grylls had a baby, like that's Nathan Glenister, okay? This guy's like, he, he's a bit, you know, he, he, he loves holidaying. His, his type of holiday is to go away on his own and just live off whatever he can find. I mean, you don't wanna mess with this guy. He's like one of my best mates. If ever I'm in trouble, if ever I, I, I'm like, I need help, I call Nath. Okay, he's the man and we were driving in this busy car park and we could not find a car park to save our life. We were looking everywhere. We were like literally two eyes. I'd look this way, he'd look that way. We'd pull up, you know, we'd look, look, look. And it just felt like forever, finally. Finally, we see this car park. And I mean, it was fast furious. He pushed the NOS on his Holden Astra and we just legged it and no rules were broken. But I mean, he got there fast and we pulled into this car spot and we were like, yes, let's go. Let's go get some food. We were hungry. I mean, you're not you when you're hungry. You know what I'm talking about. But I remember we just went to get out of the car and we hear this car full of people go, oi, oi. You stole that car park, bruh. And they start revving their engine in this Holden Commodore. They start, vroom, vroom, vroom. I'm like, is that Vin Diesel? You know, like he, they start revving their engine. They start tapping on the side of the car. They're freaking me out. They're, they're, they're like, oi, oi, that was our car park. We saw it first. Now, look, I realised that me and Nath are two very different type of people. Nath jumped out of the car ready to go, man. He was like, where are these guys? You know, he was ready to go. I locked my door and I just legit slid down the seat. I'm, like, I'm legit like, you know, and I was like, Lord, take me now. I just, I was thinking the worst. I'm like, man, I don't know what these guys want. I mean, I promise we didn't steal their car park. And then it wasn't too much later, I hear them laughing. I hear them giggling. I'm like, what is going on? And I turn around and it was a whole bunch of boys from youth, Keanu Sullivan and a whole bunch of youth lads. Uh, they were giving us grief, okay? They were, they were like scaring me. I mean, I got out of the car and they're like, oh, were you scared? I'm like, I wasn't scared, brah. Nah, I was like, Nathan, I had your back. I had your back, brah. I didn't. But, <laughs> but hey, you know what? I found that this season, can be the same in some ways. What do I mean? Well, when you're only focused on all the things we can't do, when all you're focused on is all the things that you once could do, and I know this will be over soon. I really believe it. this weird season of lockdown and all that, it's gonna be over. But at the moment, if that's all we're focusing on, it can get frustrating. You can begin to say things you would never say. You begin to act ways you would never act. You begin to just be, become maybe negative or, you know, oh man, just so annoyed. But I wanna encourage you, hey, the type of youth ministry, the type of young people, the type of leaders that we are called to be is a but what I do have type of attitude, but what I do have type of faith. And I even wonder from the outset, I just thought it'd be cool. I mean, this isn't even one of my points, but... I wonder what are you grateful for? What are you thankful for? What do you have that you're thankful for? Why not just light up the chat? I can see Keanu. I love you. I love you too, bro. I love you too. <laughs> but why not even from now, let's just write in some of the things that we are thankful for, that we are grateful for. Not the things that we're complaining about or wish we had. No, I mean, I'm thankful for my wife. She's like eight, nine days of giving birth to our first baby. I'm thankful for her. She's been crushing pregnancy. I'm thankful for good mates in this season that have had my back and we've been looking out for each other. I'm thankful for Ted Lasso over here, who I've been able to beat in Fortnite most nights. I'm thankful for Keely, his wife. She's incredible as well. But hey, why don't just light up the chat for a moment with things that we're thankful for. And tonight, I just wanna share three things that I think collectively that we do have, that we do have. And hey, number one is that we have a direct line to God. 
What do I mean by that? We have a direct line to God. Well, it's prayer. It's prayer. And I was thinking about this. I love that if we head back to our story in Acts, that Peter and John, the Bible says that they were on their way to pray that they were intentionally on their way to pray. If they hadn't gone to pray, they potentially would have missed the miracle that took place. And I love that, friend, I believe for us to, I guess, the same heart to say, hey, can we continually to, can, can we continue to intentionally pray? Can we make sure in this season that we begin to pr- pray is just talking to God. But I really wanna urge some young people tonight, keep praying. Or maybe if you haven't for a while, start praying. You know, everything seems restricted. And I know for New South Wales and Victoria right now, everything's closed, everything's shut down, everything's restricted. I mean, I used to go to the gym 5 a.m. every single day but I can't now and Lockie behind the camera is laughing and I don't know why he is, but he is because he knows that's a lie. But you know what is not closed? You know what is not shut down? You know what is not restricted? That is our prayer life. And friend, I wanna encourage you, let's be a youth ministry that continues to pray, that continues to stand in prayer and believe. The Bible says in James that the prayers of the righteous person are powerful and effective. Friends, your prayer matters. Your prayers matter to God. The things that are going on in your world matter to God and I would hate any of us to hold back our prayers to to feel like we're not good enough because the Bible even talks about that in James 5. It says Elijah was a man with human frailties just like us, but he prayed and received supernatural answers. Let's be the type of young person that has that, but what I do have type of faith, but what I do have is my prayer life and I'm gonna hold on to it in this season. And whether it's morning or whether it's night or whether it's in the middle of the day where you take a quick uh, break out of school online, but hey, let's be a praying youth ministry. Let's believe and let's stand in prayer for our leaders. Let's stand in prayer for maybe things that are going on in our life, in our family's lives. And I believe just like the Bible says that God is gonna supernaturally answer prayer. That's number one. The things that we do have is direct line to God. Number two, I mean, I can still see the chat. Celeste, Bill, got my back. Mon, it's good. Sarah Foltis, it's good. I can see the chat. Hey, number two, what we do have is the strength of those around us. The strength of those around us. And, you know, even in this story, I mean, Peter had John and John had Peter. They're a little bit of a team. They had different strengths. They were good at different things. And friend, I really believe that even though we're separated at the moment, make sure you don't do life alone. Because I even know just speaking out of my own experience, we've been in lockdown here in Victoria for over 200 days. And I know I've needed to lean on my friends more than ever. I know I've had to lean on the people I do life with and FaceTime them, call them, text them and vice versa. And I wanna encourage every single young person, do the same. In fact, hey, well done for making it to youth online tonight. But can I encourage you, keep showing up, keep rocking up, keep joining into your RDG Zooms, to your RDG, you know, online, however they meet. Keep joining into church online. Togsy's preaching this Sunday. It's gonna be incredible. But hey, keep leaning in because I believe that, hey, this is the time we need to lean on the strengths of those around us. I mean, it, it can be tough. It can be difficult at the moment, but keep leaning in to the community. I heard an awesome story at our our West Campus. There was a young person and there was a whole bunch of stuff in their family that went down and for sake of time, we, we won't go there, but it was heartbreaking. And our Melbourne West youth team came together and they thought, what can we do? What can we do? We see that this young person is is going through a tough time, their whole family. And they came together and they thought, "Hmm, you know what we can do? We can rally together with our own finances, the, the money we make off our own jobs. We can come together and buy a gift card for the family. And I was talking to our youth pastor there, Celeste Beal. She's doing an incredible job. And she told me that they ended up coming together and giving a $400 gift card to the family to just bless them, a Woolies gift card so that they could get groceries and things like that. You know what? It wasn't the amount that blew me away. It was the heart of the team. It was the heart of the team that saw a need 
and began to rally. And friend, I wanna encourage you tonight, wherever you might be, that is the type of youth ministry that we are. When someone's doing it tough, when someone's had a bad week, when someone's going through, you know, what seems to be big challenges or, you know, tough circumstances, we are a youth ministry that rallies. We are a community that rallies. We are a family that rallies. And friend, I wanna encourage you, get amongst it. Get amongst it. Lean on the strength of your RDG leader at this time. Lean on the strength of your youth pastor of this time. Lean on the strength of your godly good friendships at this time. Why? Because we all need them. My hands up. I need them. I'm thankful for them. And so, hey, as we bring this to a bit of a close and we wrap this up, but what we do have right now is a direct line to God. But what we do have right now is the strengths of those around us. And hey, number three, what we do have right now is time to spend with Jesus. One thing that we all have right now is more time, okay? You can't go to the shops, you can't go to the movies, you can't go visit your mates, but hey, we all have more time. And you know, I love that this Scripture, because if we fast forward to the next chapter in Acts 4, see what you got to understand is Acts is a, a glimpse, a snapshot, an insight into the early church. And it's exciting. People are getting saved. Miracles like the one we just read about are happening. But see, not everyone was, I guess, that excited or blown away by what was happening. In fact, Peter and John came up against a little bit of opposition just after where we finished reading. But catch this, I love in Acts 4, because one thing that people couldn't deny what was happening, people might not agree with it. They were getting a little bit upset, some people, but they couldn't deny what was happening. And in Acts 4, verse 13, I want us to catch this tonight. It says, When they saw the courage of Peter and John, and they realised they were unschooled, ordinary men, they were astonished, and they took note that these men had been with Jesus. That's a pretty cool scripture right there. That people noticed that there was something different about Peter and John. These guys were ordinary, everyday, unschooled guys. But hey, there was something different about them. They were a little bit bolder than everyone else. They were a little bit more courageous. They were standing out of the crowd. There was something different. And people began to take note that, hey, hang on a minute. These guys have spent time with Jesus. I was thinking about it. Imagine in this season where there's so much negativity, where there's so much, I guess, you know, it's easy just to see all the bad facts or to see the doom and gloom. But I wonder if we'd be the type of youth ministry where people would say the same about us, where people would look, I mean, I'm looking at the chat and say, Genesis, there's something different about her. The way she speaks about others, it's different. Or they begin to speak maybe about, uh, I mean, I'm looking at the chat, McGill, I think it's McGill. Uh, they begin to say, man, he just acts with so much kindness. Or Moses, man, he, they show so much grace. I mean, I was thinking about a few, maybe they would say about us that we're so loving, so including. Would they say about you that, hey, they talk different than other people. They use social media in a different way. Uh, they uplift, they encourage, they inspire. Uh, those people that go to Hillsong Youth, they believe the best in others. Uh, they stay positive. They stay on mission. They're the people that even when times are tough, they just begin to press in and pray. See, friend, I wonder, would people take note that we're the type of people that have spent time with Jesus? It's not that we're that good. It's not that we're that talented. It's not that we've got the best degree or nothing like that. No, it's just that there's something different about our lives because we have spent time in the presence of Jesus. And friend, while there's so much we can't do, can I tell you that is something we can do, is get into the Word of God, is begin to pray, is begin to worship. I love the worship from Bella tonight. Chanel texts me, she's like, oh, I got goosebumps. This worship is insane. Can I encourage us? Keep leaning in to those moments. Because even maybe now that you might be like, oh, I'm trying, I'm trying. You never know what God is doing on the inside of you, friend. Keep leaning in. And so just as I pray and we close up, yeah, I think we're the type of generation that can be, but what I can do type people. Hey, but what I can do, but what I can do is reach out to my friends. 
But what I can do is keep praying. But what I can do is keep reaching out to those in my world. But what I can do is some of the things I mentioned tonight, but I know that there'd be more in your own life that you know that you can do. Things that God's put on your heart. And I'm gonna pray and believe that God will begin to drop some of those things in our hearts and begin to help us live out this. Because I know it's easily said than done. And so, hey, come on, I'm gonna pray for you. But begin maybe even to right now in the chat, even just go, hey, you know what? I'm gonna, with what I have, I'm gonna do something with it. But what I do have type of faith. So Lord, right now we lift up every single young person. Lord, every single leader and God right now, we choose not to just look on what we don't have, God, or our lack or maybe everything that we feel is going wrong. But God, we choose and decide to see through our spiritual lens of what is going on, what You are doing, where You are working, God, where You are choosing to use us. And so God, we pray for every single young person, every single leader, God, Lord, that You'd help us have that type of faith, attitude in Jesus' Name. Amen. 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 Wow. What a word. That was honestly, Jesse, probably the best message I've heard in a really long yes. time. And I just want to say thank you for thank putting you, Jesse. your heart and your energy and like everything into that message. Come on. Why don't you in the chat, go ahead and say thank you to Jesse for what an incredible word. Honestly, we love you, bro. That was incredible. And uh, I'll beat you at basketball when you come to Sydney next time. But um, I love sports. <laughs> We've actually never played each other in basketball, but <laughs> we will eventually. Yes. Hey, what an incredible night. Thank you so much for tuning in to Youth Online. And uh, don't forget this Sunday night, we have our one and only youth pastor bringing the word Peter Togs this Sunday night. You're not gonna miss out. It's gonna be incredible. And? And, okay. So we've had the Uber Eats vouchers. Yes. We've had Jesse preaching the Word of God. We did. And now we have come <laughs> to the moment that you've all been waiting for. Oh, There's every gonna moment. be a link in the chat. Yeah. <laughs> wow. Okay, there's gonna be a link in the chat and I want you to click on it. We're gonna play some Fortnite. Yes, Discord. We're gonna put our gaming headphones on. We're gonna do the altar call. Are we <laughs> I'm doing the to go? Yes. yes, we're gonna throw over to Jesse. <laughs> Jesse, over to you, man. <laughs> <laughs> Where's Var gone? She's just gone. She's ghosted us. She's she ghosted me. us. <laughs> uh, well, hey, one thing that we haven't forgotten to do, which is why we're taking time to do it tonight is to take a moment to pray for every single young person tonight. And hey, seriously, on a real note, I wonder where you stand with God. If we were to sit down maybe over a cup of coffee or a hot chocolate or maybe whatever, you know, tea, whatever your drink of choice is. And I was to ask you, hey, where are things at with God? I wonder what your response would be because the truth is, friend, only you truly know where you're at with God. Hey, one thing we'd love to do is pray a simple but powerful prayer tonight that can change everything for you. Maybe you've heard a lot about God, but tonight something in your heart, something in your spirit is resonating with the words that I spoke or maybe some of the things that we read about tonight. And friend, I wanna encourage you, it's Jesus. See, Jesus died on a cross for you, friend. And tonight, all you need to do is pray a prayer with us and we're not gonna do anything crazy. We're just literally gonna pray a simple but powerful prayer. And friend, we just got team that wanna help you on your next step. But I wonder, young person, do you need to pray this prayer? Maybe for the first time or for the first time in a long time. Maybe in lockdown, you found yourself maybe going your own way or going off track, going off course. Hey, tonight, friend, come home to Jesus. So hey, Together, let's pray a prayer. If you're with me, close your eyes, bow your head, say, Dear Jesus, thank You that You love me. Thank You that You choose me. Today, I choose to live for You. Forgive me of my mistakes. Help me live for You all the days of my life. In Jesus' Name, Amen, Amen. And hey, if you prayed that prayer, chuck something in the chat. And I'm gonna pass it over to Var, who looks like she's back with us. She I'm disappeared back. for a while, but she's <laughs> back. She's back. She's back. Just had a moment and I was like, I need to go pray. Yes. For those 
who are about to receive exactly. Jesus into the heart. We were planning to do it anyways. Yeah, we were planning We just had, it. you know, we want to mix things up tonight. Keep it's it fun. fresh. Try something new. Yes. You know, it's part of the plan. Part of the plan. Keep you know, on your toes. You know, we got to keep everyone on their toes yeah, when we try. They I can't mean, just expect things to happen, you know? Seriously. But honestly, though, those, those of you that made a decision, well done. Congratulations. Honestly, I know everybody's going insane and excited for you in this next step and journey for you, but... Virginia, Yes. I reckon it's time for us to get off the stage. I think so. I think it's time for us to get off the stage and for you to click into a Zoom Hello. hang. You can go bake with Grace, go make some cookies, or you can go put your gaming thing on and go for it. But before we go, yes. why don't you pray for I'm us? I'm going to pray. <laughs> I love to pray. All right, let's all pray together. Commit this week to the Lord. Jesus, we thank you for tonight. We thank you that we heard a powerful message from Jesse and that it changed our hearts and our lives. We thank you for every single young person who made that decision to meet you for the first time. And Jesus, we just thank you so much for this week. And we pray that everyone have a good night gaming and baking. All right, see you guys later. Love Amen. You. Love you guys. See you next week. Been my records on a Sunday. Sunday Before I get myself to church I put on my best fit, your song got me dancing I cannot wait to get out the door We going to the house of the Lord God, through every season You give me a reason To see beyond my mistakes and wash away my old ways Now I'm a living testimony of your grace And God, you give me purpose for a brand new day Cause I spend my records on a Sunday Before I get myself to church I put on my best fit, your song got me dancing I cannot wait to get out the door we going to the house of the Lord. Yo, come on now. Hey, uh, see, on the first day, I make mistakes. And on the second day, I lost my weight. Uh, but on the third day, I found your grace. And ever since then, ain't been the same. Ain't been the same. Ain't been the same. See, I opened up the word and everything started changing. Since the beginning, when I was running, I was on your mind despite the life I was living. Now I'm a living. Purpose for a brand new day Cause I spend my records on a Sunday Sunday Before I get myself to church I put on my best fit, your song got me dancing I cannot wait to get out the door We're going to the house of the Lord